Anatomy and Physiology 1, Major Muscles of the Head. The muscles around the eye are called the orbicularis oculi muscles. They have origins on the frontal bone and maxilla, and they insert on the skin around the eye. They surround the eye and have origins on the frontal bone and maxilla. Their action is to close the eye, as in blinking. <laughs> the muscle that surrounds the mouth is the orbicularis oris. It has origins on the muscles around the mouth, and it inserts centrally on the lips. And its action is to close the mouth, or purse the lips. Two muscles that are important for smiling are the zygomaticus major and minor. The major is shown here as 12 and the minor as 11. Their origins are on the zygomatic arch, specifically the temporal process of the zygomatic arch, and they insert on the skin and muscles at the corner of the mouth. And their action is to smile or raise the corners of the mouth. A long muscle that runs obliquely in the neck is called the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It has origins on the sternum, specifically the upper portion, the manubrium, as well as the clavicle, or collarbone. That information is right there in the name, sternocleido, sternum, clavicle. You can probably guess where the insertion is. Sternocleidomastoid inserts on the mastoid process of the temporal bone. That's clearly visible on our skull model, the mastoid process of the temporal bone. With this illustration, you can clearly see the two origins on the manubrium as well as the collarbone or the clavicle. And the action of this muscle is to turn the face side to side, or if both muscles contract at the same time, to pull the head forward towards the chest. The epicranius covers the top of the cranium. Epi for upon, cranius for cranium. There are two muscular bellies. One lies above the frontal bone called the frontalis, and one above the occipital bone called the occipitalis. They're connected by some connective tissue called the epicranial aponeurosis. The origin is on the occipital bone, and the insertion is on the muscles above the eye. And the action is to raise the eyebrows, or furrow the forehead horizontally. What muscle does that? Epicranius. Good job. A muscle in the walls of the mouth called the buccinator pulls the cheeks inward and aids in keeping food in contact with teeth. It has origins on the maxilla and the mandible, and it inserts on the orbicularis oris muscles that surround the mouth. Because this muscle also aids in blowing air out of the mouth, it's sometimes referred to as the trumpeter muscle. One muscle that's important for chewing or mastication is the temporalis muscle. It's a fan-shaped muscle with its origin on the temporal bone, and its fibers run down behind the zygomatic arch and insert on the ramus of the mandible, as well as the coronoid process of the mandible. Its action is to raise the mandible, or to pull it back, retract it. Tensing of this muscle is associated with temporomandibular joint syndrome, or TMJ syndrome. Another muscle that's important for mastication is the masseter muscle. It's a flat muscle, that has an origin on the inferior surface of the zygomatic arch, and it inserts on the lateral portion of the ramus of the mandible. Ramus of the mandible. It also elevates the mandible and protracts it or moves it forwards. You can feel this muscle when you clench your jaw. Just place your fingers inferior and anterior to your ear and clench your jaw and you should be able to feel it. 